Last season, David Ferrer finished in the year-end top 10 for the sixth time. He's one of only five active players who can boast more than 600 match wins. For his new coach, the Ironman makes the perfect pupil. It's so easy for a coach. I think uh, for every coach, it would be the, the perfect player. I improve my slides with him and I am more, more quiet because I have confidence with him. I know David since uh, we were junior and many years. We used to practice together. We used to, to go to the first tournaments in ATP challenges together. The fact that these two Valencia residents have known each other for so many years ensures this new team have hit the ground running. The most important in a good relation with the coach is the, is the confidence with, with him and, and Francisco with me. We had a very good relation last 15 years. I was lucky to be close to his team and to him. Francisco knows me when I was a young player. You know, I practiced a lot of years with, with him and now he's coach and, and he knows my, my game. 32-year-old Ferrer may have 22 titles to his name, but his competitive edge remains as sharp as ever. Even now, sometimes I have to, to stop him because he wants more and more and it's time to, we have to say, come on, David, uh, tomorrow more, it, it's enough for today. Having turned pro in 2000, Ferrer knows exactly what it takes to stay at the very top of the game, but that doesn't lessen his desire to get even better. We both think uh, he can still improve this these little details and to play and try to beat the top players, he, he need to improve these, these little things. And we have been working on them and I think it's, it worked. We practice in the court, uh, trying to do uh, a lot of uh, coordination. It was, it was good, no? it was great. And I think I, I improved my coordination. He's a top 10 player and he wants to improve every day. He, he likes to, to ask for, for new things. To, he, he, he thinks he can improve his tennis. And then this is so important for the easy and important for the coach. But that renowned work ethic has paid immediate dividends in 2015, with Ferrer and Foguez winning their first title together in Doha. For David, it's a place with happy memories. Oh, I remember my my first tournament here when I played my first match with Roger Federer no? and now we are in 2015 and I am uh, top 10 so I am proud about my career and I have a good uh, memory uh, in, in Doha. With their first title secured, Ferrer and his coach can now focus on making 2015 a very special year. Season is going to be very long and it's only one, one tournament but I'm going step by step and, and try to do my best. The first target is simple. It's top 10, we would like to stay close to the top 10 or who knows in the first eight for to be in London again next year. But we, we know that it's going to be so difficult and, and our goal is to Try to, to keep the, his level, this level, at, at this moment, uh, as, as long as we can. As long as we can. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's all eyes on Australia, as the first major of the year gets underway. And here come the young guns, we profile the players poised to break through in 2015. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.